Kate, you gave a lecture this morning. What was it about? So I came here to the ministry to talk about creating a donut economy. A round donut with a hole in the middle where we leave nobody falling short on the essentials of life, but we live within the means of the planet. I think that is the 21st century challenge. How do we meet the needs of all within the means of the planet? And how do you do that here in the Netherlands? That's what I was talking about. Yeah, and how do we do it in the Netherlands? We don't yet know how to do it because this is an uncharted journey that all countries are on. We all need to think of ourselves as developing now because we are developing towards a future that we've never achieved. And so I think it creates a, a moment of humility in every economy, but also extraordinary opportunity. There is so much reinvention that we need to do, so much more of our whole selves that we need to call on that 20th century economics neglected and that we need to bring back into the room. And what's the first step I can take? You can take as a citizen or as a civil mm. servant or as a... Um, as both. Okay, the first step we can take is to move from the idea that progress is about never-ending growth and always, always more and more, to realizing that actually our well-being lies in balance and to start to look at the world through how is it out of balance, both socially, where people are really massively falling short on their essential needs, but also we're out of balance in terms of pushing beyond our planet's boundaries. And to think what would it look like to come into balance? How can I live in balance in my own home? What are all the materials I'm bringing into my house? And how am I throwing all the waste out? And how can I start to simplify that and become part of streams of circular use and reuse of materials? How in my livelihood, how I, I earn my income, can I work for a company or a ministry or an organization that I believe is actually starting to put this into practice? And how can I, most importantly, talk about it as if it's the reality that it's becoming, rather than something that I doubt or maybe possibly one day stand in the space of seeing it and speak it into reality, because I think the biggest change that we need to make is in our own heads. Thank you so much. Pleasure.